am going to change the fuel filters on my 1973 Crown Supercoach, um, or the fuel filter. At any rate, um, please remember to like and subscribe to my video if you're interested in this stuff. And uh, let me show you what we're doing. So that is the fuel filter. And we're going to change it because it's been on there for 15 years. So uh, let me get set up for it. We want to turn the fuel off so we don't lose prime. I hate this valve because it's difficult to grab. There we go. Yeah, definitely want to change this to something better. Alright, so now the full is off, we're going to go ahead and drop the old filter. cheap small engine funnel from Walmart my new fuel filter and a bucket with some trash in it and what I'm going to do is just set the filter there so it'll stay still and then I've got a couple gallons of diesel in a fuel can yeah I know it's supposed to be a yellow can but you know what it doesn't matter it's gonna have junk oil in it in a minute this just doesn't matter <clears throat> and we're gonna put it in the inlet which is the center of the filter. So we've got I'm basically going to fill the filter. With nice fresh diesel. Alright, so now that it is ever so slightly overflowing, we're going to remove the funnel, leave it in the trash can, and now we're going to pick up our filter, which is full of fresh, clean d diesel. And we're going to ever so slowly bring this back over and screw it in. You know, gosh, Brian, that is a dirty diesel engine. Why are you bothering to clean it? You'll see. Just keep watching. I know, you think I've lost my mind because I'm wiping a fuel filter down with Simple Green. But I promise this will all make sense to you in just a minute. What I did is I cleaned it off, got all the diesel off so that I could write the mileage and the date and that the oil and the fuel filters were being changed on this date. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. 
it's not very exciting, but this is what I think the right way to do it. And then we will open that and we should be ready to go. You may have said to yourself, hey, wait a second, what are you gonna do with that diesel that you dumped in that oil pan? Well, I'm gonna put it in the gas can now that all the fresh diesel's out of it and in the fuel tank. And basically what's gonna happen is this is gonna get mixed in with the waste oil and it's gonna go away. I don't think there's that much of it anyway, but it's all right. Kind of nasty diesel. It's certainly not green and clean. Yeah, a little bit of crud in there. There'll be a lot more crud before this is done. 